Another part we removed comes from down in the base of the float bowl in the carburetor. It's called the bleed back valve or bleed black jet. And that controls how much fuel is pushed back into the float bowl every time the accelerator pump here is activated when you press on the throttle. Now, blowing on these, since they also do not seem to have a calibration number, uh, it's a one-way valve. When we blow back against it, it doesn't seem to be allowing anything through. That would lead me to believe that it's a double O bleed back, which means no bleed back. And that's a common uh, uh, choice on 40 IDFs on a larger than a 1608 motor um, in order to help the transition from cruise to acceleration. So we're going to guess that these are uh, double O bleed backs at this point. Uh, next thing we wanted to look at here, this is the float assembly. This piece in here, that's the needle and seat. As you can see, it opens and closes with the rising and lowering level of the float. Uh, we just took a look at the numbers. They look brand new. It says that they are 175, which is a typical application uh, for 40 IDFs on a Fiat motor. And this whole assembly here with this pin that holds the float in place, these carburetors get old and these pieces here where you see that slit cut in them are delicate. When you knock out this rod in and out, you've got to be very careful. You can easily break one of these and you'll be buying a new carburetor lid. So since these have been gone through and these needle and seat assembly is the right number, um, it looks, looks good. Again, you can just do the blow test, blow into the fuel line, block off the exit lines, and you can just open and close the float and you'll be able to feel if air is blowing through and then the float is successfully closing it. So that's going to conclude all our testing on the needle and seat. Uh, looks brand new, seals properly, the motion is right. So next thing we're going to do now that we've got all our calibrated bits tested is we're going to double check the float levels on these although they look about right to my eye because generally what you're looking for is parallel between the top of the float and the base of the lid of the carburetor when it just rests on the little check ball on the valve seat right there. You don't want to actually compress that check ball. So they look pretty good. Um, again, we don't think John Logan was drinking while he was doing these carburetors, but uh, it just pays to check.